don't want to try to climb out on my own again because, like I said, the walls are kind of caving in on me. Well, talk about a dirty job. An Amazon driver ends up in a family's septic tank when the ground gives out during a delivery in the high desert. The video from Apple Valley has gone viral. Shaking my head, Juan. Mm -hmm. Know all about those. <laughs> the driver even says once he got out, he went home and showered and continued his wow. shift. Boy, what a guy. KKL News reporter Lauren Posen joins us in the studio with the story and the video that the driver yeah. shot himself right when he was <laughs> stuck in that... Uh, Smelly pit. I mean, talk about a dedicated uh, man to no his job kidding. there. Loves his yes. customers. You know, former Marine. And ah. so this when he got caught in this very scary situation, that Marine training really kicked into high gear for him. This was really the last thing he expected on his route, but he did the best he could and eventually got out. Take a look. And I really do not want to die in somebody's <laughs> whatever you call these things. A routine delivery took a frightening turn for Amazon driver Charles and Michangelo. He loaded up his packages in a delivery truck like this one at the Amazon Victorville warehouse, then drove to Apple Valley to deliver a package at a house. I noticed uh, an old traffic cone sitting in the middle of the yard and next to it was about a three foot size hole, like perfectly round hole. And I was just like, wow, that's a really big hole to just be sitting there open. And Michangelo says he went around the hole, dropped the package off at the door, and began walking back to his truck. And as I passed the hole, the ground beneath my feet immediately crumbled and collapsed, and I fell into the hole. Uh, the 13 feet into a septic tank of raw sewage he dropped, trapping him underground for 40 minutes. I wasn't like, oh, I'm in a hole, let me make a TikTok, you know. Um, my mindset was like, if something bad happens, I kind of want to have this recorded. He took out his phone and did just that. I tried using these roots around me to get out, and it just pulled more dirt on top of me. He called his work's dispatch because he says they would know his exact location to send help. But work weighed heavy on his mind. I still got like 100 stops left, but you never know. Anyway, fire department's on their way. Firefighters then put this yellow tape around the giant sinkhole he fell into. And Michangelo says he went back home to take a shower and surprisingly continued his route, something he says his bosses didn't tell him to do. 20 years in the Marine Corps, you know, we're just conditioned to, you know, finish the mission. If if you can get, get up and keep moving and you're still breathing, you finish the mission. The next day, he went to the doctor for some aches and pains. He says he has to undergo weekly blood tests to make sure he wasn't exposed to anything. And while he's looking forward to returning to work, he says he'll be doing uh, deliveries a bit differently. Stay off the grass, the dirt, and the gravel, yes. And uh, again, I tried to... Happy ending there. We reached out to Amazon in a statement. A spokesperson told us Amazon is relieved. Now the driver is all right and grateful to local emergency teams for their quick response. Pat and Juan, back to you. Thanks, Lauren. Semper Fi. Now that giant sinkhole in Chatsworth is going to cost more than $4 million today.